Dude, this music in a Super Mario 64 ROM hack makes me think I'm about to play a better hack. <laughs> because Brody uses this music all the time. Thanks, Vesting. Stream's over. I tricked Vesting into donating. I'm sorry I wasted everyone else's time. I'm leaving. That's, it. That's one of those joke things. Why is there one bub just freaking out? See, questions like that is why I know no one understands how long it takes to perform an IRL BLJ. Is there a chimney at the steeple? I don't maybe exactly know what a steeple is, per se. So, with that in mind, I would say maybe? Ooh! I actually really like the way this environment looks. This is the Halloween hack now. What? GD Mario, that's because you're five years old! How do you not know what a Paper Mario game is? You're five, you were born this year. You're one years old. You're five. How are you supposed to find this on YouTube? Uh, learn another language. If you really like the music, you'll learn another language to listen to it. Fucking casual dumbass. He got me killed! He did it! I kept all my coins! I don't even care that I died. Let's go. Good level design choice. Make me happy. I love balls! This is actually a really well done area. Oh, dude! Someone else made this! You wanna know how I know? Cause I could see through this wall! I could see through that wall, dude! Someone else made this area! This is honestly... This has been the coolest part of the whole game. I think a lot of this game was unfortunately lackluster, but this has been really pleasant to play. This area. Right now, I'm feeling like this area doesn't resemble anything that <laughs> I would look like Chapter 5 of TTYD. Am I in the middle of the level? Okay, but that I understand. I get that. And I'm fine with that. But what are these abominations? They're just fucking triangles. This area seems disproportionately huge compared to the scale for the other areas. But I'm actually not sure if I'm wrong in that statement. I am now going to go focus on hopefully just getting the eight reds on the coast. Oh, it occurred to me that there's a thing that we have to do because the game is allowing me to do it. Oh, wait, what? I, <laughs> what? I died and came here? Why would I want to be here? I kept my shell after death? What the fuck just happened? I'm getting out of here. I'm not getting out of here. I fucking, the shell's gonna break. Wait, let me just math this one out. That's right, baby. PhD in dumb shit. I still get what I want. I don't though! How the hell- There's red coins down there! Yeah, try and tell me that red coin isn't there. It's- The death plane is in the water, meaning you have to be on top of the shell. Talk about fucking anti-fun device. That is so disappointing. I guess you won't die if you ride the top of the water. Oh, big dick. This is so disappointing. My disappointment is immeasurable. I'm coming out of sad, sad comes. I could have been fastest man alive hurdle. It's funny because of how stupid it is that they would even do that, but it is very upsetting. Double in Ohio. That, that's fair. You can't believe Chari isn't a mod? I don't know who the fuck you're even talking about. Chari? I, we're just making up people now. Yeah, I can't believe Gonzalo is a mod. Isn't a mod. Random made up person. I'm sorry, I had to show that. How much money do you think I'd have to offer Fox in to scream and listen to only Mario screaming type shit? Gonzalo, you're a mod now. A deal's a deal. I'm just kidding, sorry. I was thinking there's no way a man named Gonzalo could exist. Ah, do you remember this part of TTYD? This is called Bowser's Cafe. Do you remember this part of TTYD where you go with Bowser's thing and you grab a drink? with? Goombas. I don't remember this part of the game. This quicksand? Dude! Why arbitrarily texture every platform differently and make me afraid? I straight up did not push the jump button because of the fucking color of the platform. Does that make me racist? It might, honestly. I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it does. Oh, I missed a coin down there. I'm gonna go get it. Ah, oh, cool. Donkey balls. I think that's the end of the game. There's no there's no credits, I think. Just Bowser's tasty testicles. There's fucking That's how the game ends. You collect Bowser's whatever it was. That is so lame. Give me an end screen.
maybe it's in here. You know, life's okay sometimes. You go in the teleporter room, it's gonna teleport. And then there's gonna be the credits. Thank you so much for playing my game. I have conflicting emotions. <laughs> Who is this? Yeah, exactly. What the fuck? What does this have to do with C2ID? <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Who the fuck is this guy wielding the ketchup? Do you guys want to know who this actually is? It's that SpongeBob and the guy who likes the chili. Oh my god, there's so many stars in this. I don't know. I played a game that this guy made and hated it a lot. But this might be a lot better. The hack I played, he reused the tower in like every fucking level. So every level you were climbing the same tower over and over again. I really hope that's not the case because this game has 182 stars. I should update my title. It's called Super Mario Fantasy. He did make a mini hack that was good. So I, I should be giving him more credit. He did, he did illustrate that, you know, over time people get better at things. Crazy concept. Oh my God, this is level one. Is this the tower I'm going to be climbing the whole game? This building? Every level? <laughs> I'd probably be playing this game for like a year to beat this game, I feel like. This is actually really good. Who made this? Someone I'm already sub to made this. I'm going to add it to my favorites. What is it called? It's in the top left. The less bup sides. No, I was reading the title. Oh, I do know where the star spawned. Never mind. Panic over. Actually, check out my coolest trick yet. Pretty cool, huh? Wow, this is impressive looking. Wow. This is depressing looking. <laughs> 